So here's our first uh, myth or fact. It could be one or the other. Um, if you have a black eye, you should apply a nice cold steak to it. True or false? Wow. Okay. False. It's well, most of them are true. You're just not getting my steak. Most, most, so. of the, most of the audience says true. What do you say? False. Say false. false. Uh, I say false. The answer is. False. False. Now, why did you say false, Curtis? Because I want to eat that steak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, listen, let's talk about bruising first, okay? First of all, a bruise is when you have trauma to your head or your face. Yes. And there are small capillaries underneath the skin that burst. So we have a picture here. The left side of the screen is the normal situation, capillaries underneath the skin. Then when you get trauma, it breaks or bursts the capillaries and you see the red uh, blood seeping up underneath the skin, which is why the color is red at first. And then the last uh, pick is of it oxidizing, so it becomes a darker color. So that is what a bruise is. It's blood that's getting older underneath the surface of the skin. Now. Ew. The, the, Attractive. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the, and the body will resorb it, so it goes away. So when it, it, it gets away. all blue, it's like just old. It's just kind of old. Old, nasty but your blood. Bo your body Ooh. eats it up and throws it away. But here's Glad the, we're not cooking anymore right now. <laughs> But here's the thing about the steak. The reason why the steak is, is not true because, and even though we've been saying that for years, is because you don't want to introduce bacteria into a wound or onto your skin, mm -hmm. which you can have on steak. And you don't want to waste a steak. And you don't want to waste a steak if it's a ri 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 ribeye. I like ribeyes. Okay, here's the idea though. You do like the cold, so the cold is correct. The cold will help you know, prevent these, the swelling and inflammation, but not with a steak. So you take something like this. You take some frozen peas, uh -huh. it's malleable, and then you can take a very thin cloth and put it over and then just apply it uh, to wherever your wound you is. You have to wet the cloth? Um, you, well, you should. If it's too thick, you should wet it to make sure that the coldness is coming through. If okay. the coldness has to come through, that's a good point. It's actually very relaxing. I'm going to continue to hold the peas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can use an ice pack, OK? You can ice pack would, would do the same thing, too, OK? Uh, OK, but I kind of like the peas. Yeah, OK. <laughs> you can have the peas, They're OK? They're like a little friend. like. Like those little sack animal <laughs> things. Okay. If you have an open wound, mm. you should use alcohol or hydrogen peroxide to clean it out. True or false? Oh. That's why I said the third one's for you. So even if it was a head wound, would you do this? That's the question. A wound on the body. That's all I'm going to say. False. Whoa. Well, what did you... OK, hold on for a second. Put it down. Thank you. What did you clean yours out? Your son... I cleaned it with water. That's the answer. That's the right That's answer. That's the answer, see? Yo! So, so, so Yo! Lindsay, I hope you're watching, baby, because I Woo! did the right thing. So, so the, the, the answer is you don't use hydrogen peroxide or alcohol. Now, our grandparents and parents used to do that. And the reason why they did that was because it actually kills the bacteria. The problem is it's also killing the healthy cells around the oh, wound. Oh, that are trying to That's heal right. the wound. And that delays the wow. healing. So you don't want to use hydrogen peroxide or Put alcohol. on you. But you do use water. You, so you clean it out with water. You take the tweezers. Uh -huh. And you use alcohol for the tweezers to make sure the tweezers are clean. And then you take out large bits of debris, rinse it with the water. And then you take some soap and water. This is our soap, mild soap. You take some mild soap and water, like so, OK? You mix it up, like this. And then you want to make sure you clean around the wound. You don't want to get the soap in the wound because it becomes more of an irritant. Gotcha. So that okay. is the key. So it's and no, then you it's, bandage it. If, if some, some cases you can bandage it, some cases not. Depends on how deep the wound is. Um, and then that happens, OK? And to stop bleeding, do you raise your, do well, you elevate or well, what? Well, it's really about compression. Gotcha. And you want to apply enough pressure so that the clotting cascade can occur. Gotcha. So it's more um, um, clotting than it is impression. <laughs>